So let's take a look at the elections 2024 Europe. It's going to be voted here in Berlin. And we got Valomat, which is a fantastic tool comparing 35 parties and uh, telling you Standpunkte. What is the like, what is Standpunkte? Standpoint? Uh, where they start from, their values and uh, agendas, and they compare it to, to, to the response of the parties. Let's start. The EU is supposed to raise their own tax. I am okay with that. No more Verbrennungsmotoren, which means uh, combustion engines after 20, 20, 35. I am okay with that. Uh, own emergency rescue in the Mediterranean Sea. I think it's better to coordinate that. I'm not for the Ukraine joining. Uh, I'm ecological agriculture and subsidy. I like the idea, but I know it's really complicated and it would raise food prices tremendously. So I'm neutral, I'm not yet sure. National currency in Germany, of course not, would undermine European Union, which I'm a big fan of in its concepts. Uh, another agenda, I am not sure about this. I'm rather not for it because I think it causes confusion, but I know people suffer from it, so I'm kind of neutral. Uh, hunt for wolves where they're not dangered in their numbers, and I'm okay with that. Uh, new buildings. Uh, mandatory to build photovoltaic. I don't think this is a good idea because there's a lot of buildings and not everybody needs photovoltaic. Um, they just need a um, majority, not a unison on decision making on exterior politics. I think that's good. EU tax free? No. Flying should be more expensive because people should cherish it more, appreciate it more. Uh, stronger Europol. I think international crime is on the rise because you just can cross borders and, and, and I think it's important to coordinate that better. Um, So, Länderübergreifend is a complicated word. So, border crossing. So, not just domestic, not just national, but the whole EU. More language, so multi language offers of the öffentlich rechtlich, which is like independent public news, should be financed. That in itself is a good idea. It, it is pro EU. Let's say this is a good idea, but the thing is about these things, they're expensive. So democracy, ecological decisions, immigration, they all cost money. And some are like immigration for us is an investment because people come here you predominantly to work, but um, programs cost money in, in the short run and we have to all be aware of that. Next one, you should Abolish the goal to become climate, climate CO2 neutral or climate neutral. I think that's a bad idea. We should become climate neutral because we want to con continue to exist and we are on a path to self destruction. On the elections of the European Parliament, the parties should decide freely how large is the proportion of agenda. Or sex on their lists, and I think 
they should have those liberties. I've had conversations with people who said there should be a ratio for women, but oftentimes it's that it doesn't make sense. And I think, yeah, well, this is my opinion. I think I'm okay with that. Um, the EU is supposed to give guidelines for the amount of social security in its member states, and I am not sure, but if foregum is the right word, um, different states have different ideas of basic income. It's again pro-EU, but I'm not informed enough, so I'm neutral on this one. Um, Social media should decide how to deal with this information on their platforms. I think this should be public guidelines because people like Donald Trump can cause um, mass disinformation and cause major major rights. And I don't think I don't think the civil. On the other hand, it could cause cancer culture. Not easy. I'm against it though. Um, you should have more space for nature reserves. I am always for that. EU um, subsidies for member states that cause a breach of following the rules and values of the EU should be kept back financially. So the financial subsidies should be kept back for those countries that like Hungary and well um, other countries that don't follow the rules I am absolutely for it if you don't do what we as a community want then you should not be part of the community uh, you should finance weapons for Ukraine I think this is an aggressive war even though the NATO has its own um flaws and made a mistake with with the conversation before this started but putin is an aggressor and he is on a power path and he's it's more about st stabilizing internal conflicts like it often is and showing it through external conflicts and and so many smart tricks that putin is doing like sending young men who could revolt into war to die and such and such terrible thing. I think the, I don't want to support a war, but on the other hand, I don't want to support a, what is it? A, a, a aggressor to win. So I'm for it. It's the zulässige Menge, the so the possible amount of fish um that is being caught should be dropped so official numbers should go down i'm not informed at all unfortunately the um, tax the customs should raise on chinese electric car, electric cars not informed huge thing huge problem maybe to protect european markets um but also the the chinese just have the minerals have the manpower, so I'm not sure. The EU should um, put itself into action, or not like, yeah, put itself into action that um, abortion in all member states is not penalized. And I think that's great. Women should decide themselves what to do with their bodies, even if. Birth, road, birth rates are at a, at a extreme low and to continue existing European Union citizens need to have babies, but um, that's a different issue. I think we should not, as a state, tell women what to do with their bodies, so I'm for that. Um, border controls between member states of EU? Not at all. What is that? That's That's crazy. I mean... There's some merits because you can impede on international crime, but the downsides are larger than the upsides, so not afford. The accepting of new states in the EU should 
to referendums of people. I think that opens the doors for populism, not for it. Not for it, because I leave this to the professionals in Brussels and go through the numbers. It's also a numbers game more than it is an opinion game. And so I'm not for it. Genetically modified plants should be permitted as a EU. And I'm not informed because I know that genetically permitted plants are extremely um, effective, but also cause harm to the environment. So I'm like, I'm really not sure because we also want to supply enough food to people. But on the other hand, long term, it would probably be better to curb it. But I don't know about the intricacies. So I'm rather, I'm rather not for it. But I know it's going to be expensive for us, for everyone. But I think it makes more sense. I don't agree. So gender-specific violence against women should become a reason to grant asylum. That would mean that lots of, or whatever the number is, women that are being harmed by the men internationally can come to Europe as a um, place of refuge. And I think that's a good idea. And Urheberrechtlich, so this is about copyright. Urheberrecht is copyright protected works, photo, literature, music in the EU. If it's not commercial, should be used without paying. And I think that's a good idea. Uh, sanctions against Russia diminish them. No, I'm not against, I'm not for the diminishing of sanctions against Russia. Erasmus. Um, stipendium, what is that again? Um, when you get money from the state, like, um, you know the word. Um, that for people that are going for international studies and don't have high financial means should be higher. I think the nice thing about Erasmus was that it was flat, the same for everyone. So that kind of created equity among students in receiving money so, or let's say equality not equity equity is where you come from which family but, but i was a Erasmus student and i didn't have as much as other people but it made me grow it made me understand and i think the money was great and I've, therefore i think i'm not for this personal experience um you should consider Power, nuclear power energy as sustainable and I think it is it is very sustainable the only thing is what do you do to trash that's not sustainable but for now it's a great way to reduce co2 the immigration of our professional workers to the EU should become easier we do need them from econ an economical standpoint but I know from a social standpoint people in Germany at least do not like that there's such an influx of immigrants because it um, kind of destabilizes a mutual um, pattern of, of values. But I also think that modern media and, and, and modern education diminish a differentiation in, in the facets of values because the more you get educated, the less you become emotional or dogmatic about your views and you open up to merits and ideas of merits. And I think these people that come and migrate are often people who seek a better future from the standpoint of um, meritocracy. So I'm, I'm for that. The Heiligung partnership maybe is a good word. Participation of outer Europe investors on companies in sector of critical infrastructure should be reduced 
on a stronger level. And I think that's vital because if you have critical infrastructure and it's privatized, that's a problem. That's already a problem. And then if you have not European investors, then it becomes also a political issue because those people can just, you know, cut power or cut water or whatever it is for political reasons or capitalist reasons, not just economical reasons, but like capitalist uh, reasons, making more money, squeezing European Union. So I think our European Union is supposed to protect us from that. So I'm okay. For that. The president of the European Commission should be voted by citizens directly. I think it's already complicated enough to vote for your commune and vote for your province and vote for your president or chancellor, whatever you call them. And the idea is to trust people who have the time and the means to invest their time into knowing what's best. So I think as long as it doesn't become corrupt, that's right. But um, we believe, I do want to believe in my political system. I do not want to um, spur aggression. And anyways, I'm digressing. I am for it because I think it would be too much to vote such a powerful position because it would become a matter of political fights all over Europe. Imagine a world union and you just vote for one person. It's going to be tremendously difficult to choose the right person because there's so much power, too much power in this one election. So I'm okay for this. Um, they should pay more for CO2. I think CO2 is a problem. I think Europe is doing a lot of what it's supposed to do. And I think other states should look up on us. I think we are the forefront. I'm not so sure if this makes economical sense in proportion to the output. Um, kind of uninformed, too uninformed, so let's say neutral on this one. Asylum, what is this bewerber? Uh, people who apply, asylum applicants should finish their documents before crossing the border. I think this is again like um, a matter of xenophobia and like racism. And I've, I work in immigration myself and I think I'm, I'm strongly biased, obviously, because I work with them every day and I see the numbers a little bit, but also I have a limited view. Um, but I know that there's a lot of immigration happening in the EU and I think we should deal with it outside the border to make it more mm, orderly and, and, and separate the chaff from the grain, as I says that may sound, but it should not be too easy, right? Because we have to create a certain consistency of European values. And as I said before, with the migration of professional workers, we can base our, our, our um, entry bar on, on at least that. So I'm for that. Rüstungsprojekt is like industrial military complex. Should the EU continue investing in European military projects? And I'm against war and I'm against military. I think it's an antiquated idea um, to fight each other. But obviously that's an, maybe considered an idealism. In 100 years it's probably a realism that it's nonsense. Uh, to fight each other, but I know of the fears and, and, and people in power who are not that benevolent to their neighbors, but I'm still not for it. And the European Union should continue to play a key role in the, in, in the EU. Uh, I don't understand this, to be honest. Isn't the parliament a vital part of the EU? Uh, what would the EU be without the parliament where people discuss decisions that are crossing borders? So I'm definitely for it.
Okay, so here is the weighting, which is really interesting. How much weight do you personally give to certain questions like immigration, um, war, um, ecology, like fishing quotas and electrical vehicles, all these things. And um, yeah, what is your weighting? And I don't want to do it because I want to keep this video as short as long as it may be already. I'm just saying, okay. And here I should choose a party that's represented in Germany. This, uh, those are the bigger ones. Um, which one would you like to compare your perspectives with? I think that's a good idea if you are 100% sure you will never go for the right wing party or some outliner party but I want to keep it open but I can go through those real quick Sidious middle right this is the the greens this is the left they used to be left but this is middle left this is further right this is further left this is the liberals in a economical way this is like I don't know what they do. They are a little bit. Um, I don't know. Don't know. It says here economy and protection of animals. So I guess that's what they are. This is ecology, family, um, new, very new, rather radical seems interesting. Same here rather new and rather radical. I think it's more like an internet-based nerd techy um, party. And those are the smaller ones. They are the fractions and factions and interesting. So I can choose all of them. So keep it open and then go. And this is my result. PDH, PDF, I'm a humanist, nice. It means um, the central point of their policy is the human as a self-directed, social and reasonable individual. They're against the connection of state and religion and they want to continue to position themselves as a scientific or, or on scientific uh, revelations or revelations, maybe the wrong word. Um, observations, maybe. Okay. PDF, like the file format for reading. A tie, this fortune, fortune is like um, advancement. Direct democratic elements, like people referendums. I, I didn't say much about people referendums i didn't prove of that much but can be a good idea they want the european union in this way union as einigung as a um, findings common ground and consequential like uh, um, change of energies in public transport Freie Wähler, Klimaliste, Big, and where's one of the bigger ones? FDP is one of the bigger ones. BSV, which is very new. And then Grüne SPD come here. And then what is going CDU is one of the bigger ones. And then go on, go on. AfD is on the bottom. Interesting. So maybe I should go vote for those. But the thing is, do I get something done with my vote with the small 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 parties oftentimes it's considered thrown away because you need a certain critical mass to send a person to parliament and probably FDP is something that could really um, make something happen or Queen or SPD I will dig dive deeper into what they what they're supposed to do let's go on tuning uh-huh Okay, so I can tune my preferences, whatever. 
Okay, and here we go with the comparison. Okay, this would be way too much. I will now look at it and um, make my decision because in, in a week and a little bit, we have to vote for the European Union. And um, aren't we fans of the European Union? I, I like the European Union. So, um, yeah, let me know what you think and see you later.